Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokonic here, and I'm bringing you a news update for Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Uh, looks like we have the Peculiar Penguin Village, or the Arale event. If you hadn't noticed, when you open up the application, you'll see new Arale welcome screen. Uh, when we come in, we have a new event, uh, the Peculiar Penguin Village, as I had mentioned before. Come on and join the peculiar adventure in the Penguin Village. Don't miss out on the chance to get Arale Noramaki and the Goku Youth. Now, Goku Youth is pretty cool. There are a couple of cards that he feeds into, so I'll let me mention those really quick. We have the te uh, the Technique Goku, which you should have been able to get from the Baba Treasures, I believe. Uh, it was late last year. I don't have that. I don't exactly have the time that it was available for you, but you should be able to see him. Uh, you should be able to grab duplicates for him, uh, feed him into this character. The next one is a strength one we could grind from this event, so obviously you're going to want to get him up to super attack 10. Uh, the, the card here, leader skill HP plus 50%, causes huge damage, so it's nothing really ama uh, amazing, but he's a grindable character, he might have his use, he may have his uses for events in the future. Passive skill attack plus 5000 as the first attacker in the turn. Link skills all in the family, the innocence, turtle school, the incredible adventure, guidance of the dragon balls, and penguin village. Uh, he Doken Awakens into Large Spirit Goku Youth, Strength Type HP plus 77%, not that bad. Uh, super Attack, Woohoo, Extreme Damage to Enemy, again not that bad for a free SSR, Extreme Damage is definitely not useful at all. What can you do? Uh, for a free card he's, he's pretty good. His passive skill actually um, makes him a little bit more self-reliant. He plus 2 attack plus 6,000 went for uh, first to attack, so that makes him a little bit better of a character. Same links as before, except he gets Shattering the Limit as well. Uh, his max stats with his Awakened form, uh, HP 7700, now this is just rounded, HP 7700, attack 6600, and defense 3500. Uh, pretty cool, pretty damn, that's a nice card, fun, it's a fun card if you ever watch the uh, Arale Goku or Arale Dragon Ball crossover. Uh, but to go on to the next card is the Innocent Challenger, Goku Youth. This is the old school agility card. He's an SR. Uh, he'll be able to feed into him as well. Uh, and then we have the Dragon Ball Summon Tickets from the World Tournament, to, if you were lucky enough to get him, uh, for the an exciting adventure, Goku Youth. He's a strength one, the one that has the leader skill of attack plus 25% for all types, extreme damage to enemy, Passive skill, attack plus 70% when there are three more enemies. Um, and yeah, uh, he's he's a pretty, you know, he, he's a good, uh, I don't want to say a good card. Uh, he's a fun card when he first came out, a lot of a lot of people went, went for him. I was lucky, it was one of the lucky ones that I was able to pull on him, or pull for him. But let's move on. Uh, now we have all that information about the cards he feeds into. Uh, event uh, details. Stage 1, the Peculiar Penguin Village. You will get the Penguin Village Adventure Goku Youth SSR upon your first time to defeat the event bosses Arale, Noramaki, and Goku Youth. Starting from the second time you defeat a boss, you'll have a chance to get the card. On top of that, every time you defeat the bosses, you'll have a chance to get Child's Play Arale, not Noramaki. So that's going to be pretty cool. You get her up to SS uh, uh, Super Attack 10. I would also recommend when you awaken her just to open up her Duth Paths. Just do it. You know, you're going to be able to grab them. One Penguin Village Adventure Goku Youth SSR will be given as a reward for clearing each difficulty for the first time. And Stage 1 is only available on Normal and Hard. As you can see, the two rewards, the Arale Noromaki, uh, her leader skill is Tech Type HP plus 50%. Super Attack is Kamehameha Cannon, which causes huge damage to the enemy. Again, it's a free card, so don't expect too much. Passive skill, Mark of a Good Kid, when HP is 30% or above, key plus 3, attack plus 3,000. Link skills... Ready went over. Link skills, mechanical menaces, the innocence, shocking speed, revival, battlefield diva, penguin village. Uh, HP before token waking is 6600. Uh, attack 6200. Uh, defense 3500. Her token awaken form is tech type at, uh, HP plus 77%. Uh, super attack, Kamehameha cannon, causes extreme damage to the enemy now, upgraded from huge. Uh, passive skill, fun ride, key plus 4, attack plus 4,000 when HP is 30% or above, so that's pretty damn nuts. If you're running her on a tech team with a dual, uh, like 3 key th plus 3 lead, she'll be supering almost all the time. 
Link skills, mechanical menaces. Uh, actually, everything is the same except for shattering the limits. You get to shattering the limit uh, link skill as well. Uh, HP, attack, and defense. HP is 72 or 7300, close to 73. Attack is 65, 25, and defense is 3891 or 3900 just to round up. Um, not a, an amazing card. I'd still recommend to grind her up to Super Attack 10. You never know when there might be an event where you're only allowed to use free to play characters. Uh, for an example, the Frieza event, you can only use characters that are free to play or characters that are have a drop that are dropped uh, in, with in-game events. Uh, but yeah, uh, with that being said, I'm, uh, we have it, so I'm assuming now we're going to be getting the Arale banner at some point. Uh, we might get it after the uh, Intelligence Vegeta banner. Not a hundred percent sure on that. But while you're there, grind up the medals, I believe. Let's see. We need seven medals for her. Yeah, she's the only one who requires those Warriors Mark Arale Noromagi medal. Ah, but yeah, okay, cool. So, now you know. That's exactly what you need. Um, we have this card. I'm I'm pretty happy about it. We're going to probably get the Arale banner now, and some of those Arale cards are pretty damn nuts. Um, I will be doing uh, a review now of all the Arale cards at some point. So, stay tuned for that. I'll probably do it sometime in the middle of the week. Uh, probably around Wednesday or Thursday. It's currently Sunday night, Monday morning. Now, technically Monday morning. It's 5 a.m. my time. Uh, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, subscribe if you're new here. Please help support the channel. And you all have a great day.